So we got Trushan started back at Nottingham um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, fortunate that the rain came and the ground was just on the slow side, but um, did everything we really wanted to see, travelled very well and powered away at the end. So, you know, got him out much earlier than we did last year. And um, hopefully we'll head on to Ascot with one more run. I mean, I'd like to go to the Cigarro Stakes, but just looking at the forecast, I can't see much rain. So that's looking doubtful. We have the option the following week of the Yorkshire Cup. But it, as I've said all the way through, you know, he'll only run when the ground's suitable. The Gold Cup is the best staying race of the calendar, and um, it's one I'd love to have a runner in. We just missed out last year. The rain came about 10 hours too late, but um, it would be similar, you know, then, then Goodwood, um, and we've got France and Ascot at the end of the season. The first time we thought he might be very useful was he'd won a handicap at Newmarket, mile and a half, and on the same day, William Haggis's horse had won a mile and a half at York. And they met at Newbury a few weeks later. It was a conditions race, um, three-year-olds only. I think there were only the four runners. Williams was odds on, and he sort of cruised up to us and looked sure to win, and then Trushan battled back. And I remember Maureen looked mortified that we had beaten him. And he's a good horse. He's a group horse in his own right. Uh, that was the first time we really thought this, this is a little bit special. And he had been schooled before that to go jumping, but I decided then that we would put him away for the winter and we'd go back on the flat the following year. And, and that's what we did. He's, he's had several highlights, but I suppose Goodwood, my first group one, was very special. Uh, we really enjoyed that. I'd been quite relaxed in the morning and then, um, you know, Stradivarius came out just after lunchtime and suddenly we were odds on favourite. <laughs> the nerves kicked in then, but, um, you know, he got the job done well. And, you know, France ask at the end of the year was special, but I think Goodwood's up there is probably one of the, one of the great highlights. So I remember seeing him at the, 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 the Guineas, the Tadassol's Guineas um, breeze and, Big scopy horse, walked very well. It's just the type of horse that Bromley and I, you know, love to find. And um, he's by a horse, uh, Planteur, that we had a three-year-old by him that we liked. So that attracted us to him in the first place, really. And, uh, you know, he ticked all the boxes. And then we thought, well, he, he might make a flat horse, he might make a bumper horse. We weren't sure at the time. But the one thing we've never been worried about at the other times, it's just, we just like a good individual. And um, so, yeah, I thought, I thought there was a bit of value there. Hopefully there still is, really. You'd like to think he's, he's, he's a relatively young horse. I would like to think there's a good few years left in him yet, as long as we're sensible and, and don't run him when conditions aren't right.